Hi everyone, welcome to Cash Walks. Today we're caching around Puhoi, a small village a 30 minute drive north of Auckland. Puhoi was settled in 1863 by people from Bohemia, then part of the Austrian Empire, now part of the Czech Republic. Come with us on a great day's geocaching around the village and a five kilometre walk along part of the Te Araroa walkway. It's an early start for the drive up to Puhoi, as there is a lot to see, do and find. The roadside shrine we're passing is unusual in New Zealand and is the first sign that this is not a regular Kiwi village. We will call back to see the museum and the Church of Saints Peter and Paul later in the day. The centre of Puhoi, a small group of shops and the famous Puhoi pub. There is a great cash trail here along a 5 km section of the 3000 km Te Araroa walkway that runs the length of New Zealand. Let's park at this swing bridge at the start of the walk back to Puhoi. On with our tramping boots. Then off to find our first geocache. Okay, it's a magnetic nano, so it should be reasonably easy to find. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Very small one. Well done. Got it this tiny. Here we have to clean our boots to prevent the spread of curry dieback disease that's attacking our indigenous curry trees. We just got the first cache at the bridge and we've walked up the hill. It's a lovely walk through pine forests and just noticed that the next cache is just over one and a half k away. So we'll keep walking. The track follows a ridge line, with a good part of it through a beautiful stand of native trees. There are a few curry trees a little off the track, so hard to show their size. wonderful part of the forest. It's great, isn't it? We can see perching lilies high above us here. Another suspicious pile of wood in our second cache of the day. Nice little ladybird and a egg. Yay! Look at this. <laughs> That's what I like about geocaching. Isn't that great? That's a nice one. Very nice. <laughs> great hint on this one in the guts of a tea tree. Certainly is, right in the middle. Perfect. Here a rata vine is climbing up a tree. There's silver fern along the track. 
Silver fern is a symbol of New Zealand and appears on the front of our passport. There is a great view of the Puhoi Valley from Ground Zero. The red roof of the museum and church and the white balconied pub. Let's head on to a lookout for a closer view of the village. We're due to meet Kelly from the Sanderson Hunters team at the pub for a lift back to our car. Come for a look inside this iconic Kiwi pub. The pub now has its own beer on tap. This is Puhoi's version of a classic uh, Czech Pilsener. It's made from New Zealand hops and hops from the Czech Republic, Nova Hops. And it's a little citrusy and um, yeah, a little spicy. It's very nice. And uh, Cash Canada, this is specially for you. So Dave and Karen, cheers. We'll put a link to Cash Canada's YouTube channel at the end of this video. It's worth taking time to look around the walls of the pub. Now for a ride back to the car we left at the start of the walk. Let's head in to try some cheese at the Puhoi Cheese Factory. We use the COBRA tracking app just in case COVID gets back into the community. They have award-winning cheeses here. Behind the glass you can see people working in the blue cheese room. No other cheeses are kept in this room as the mould spores will transfer to them and change their flavour. Kuiper Washed Rind, Puhoi Brie, Parkery Blue and Gruyere. Parkery Blue is our favourite with a subtle blue flavour and a soft creamy texture. They also have different milks, yogurts and ice cream. We're heading back to the car for a short drive back to Puhoi to visit the museum, the Church of Saints Peter and Paul and to find another geocache. Where are you good folks from? Um, just down the road. Oh, you're not far away. No, we're not. Before they could be yoked together, the bullocks would have to be persuaded 
to stand next to each other at the correct distance. The wooden yoke would then be laid across the base of their necks and be secured from below their necks with the U-shaped metal bracket. This plough was designed and built by Matthew Wick to dig up potatoes. Note that the plough is built almost entirely of wood and has metal fittings only where they are absolutely necessary. Before going into the church, let's look for the geocache that's nearby. Tricky hide here. And now into the church of Saints Peter and Paul. Settler families are remembered in the stained glass windows along both sides of the church. Hope you enjoyed geocaching around Puhoi. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching.